I'm not offended. <laughs> I'm just confused. How can you have something that doesn't exist? They don't keep embryos forever. Well, they exist. Gus, it was decades ago. They destroy them, you know this. I'm not always. Right, I'm sorry. I think, I think you should just contact them because they will tell you they're gone. I have contacted them. Kind of stayed in touch. When we split up, the annual forms and invoices kept coming to our old address. For a while, I, I thought you might come back. We might have a future. Please don't. Well, I couldn't see the harm. I filled out the form and paid the fee. It's only money. It's not like I could do anything without asking you. And then the cancer. I I'm going through that. And they're telling me the effects on my fertility. The annual renewal shows up. And what am I going to do? Destroy all hope? Say something. Goodbye, Gus. No, Rona, please, please. Just, just, just hear me out, please. Then you can make a decision. I feel sick. Actually, physically sick. I'm sorry. It's like a violation. It is a violation. You do realise I could probably go to the police over this. Look, I'm not going to pretend everything I did was right. But it started innocently, I promise. Innocently? I wasn't ready to lose you. It's only more recently it's turned to desperation. Imagine knowing your only chance of ever having your own child was preserved somewhere. You know what that's like. You'd do almost anything. Are they even viable? I just want you to think about it. How much it means to me, to us. Please, say so you'll think about it. You've got my number. He completely blindsided me. I don't think I could be any more angry. How did you leave it? I know it sounds stupid, but I don't even remember. But you said no. Well, I didn't say yes. I told him I could go to the police, I remember that. Are you gonna? No. I don't know, Marlon. I feel sick. What would you do if you were me? Honestly? I'd phone the clinic, ask them to destroy the embryos. There we go. And you said no sprinkles. What did you say sprinkles? That's fine. <laughs> no, no, no. I think that sounds like you really want them, you're just being polite. No, I don't have an opinion. How can somebody possibly not have an opinion? You either want chocolate on your froth or you don't. He's not bothered, Rodney. Please don't. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> What's she like? Your wife? She's... Lucy's, um... I'm really not sure how to answer that. What do you want me to say, right? Well, is she as desperate as you are for a child? Runner, she's been through three rounds of IVF. What do you think? How much does she know? Everything. Including how you pretended to be me. Look, if you're looking for a reason to dislike her, just stop. I'm not. I'm looking for a reason as to why she doesn't dislike you. It would put me off if I found out my partner had done that to an ex. Yeah, well, there were words. Does she know that you're here now? Yeah, and she's ashamed and angry with me. And I'm ashamed and angry with myself, but I'm here now because you're our last chance. Well, that's what she called it. What if you meet Lucy? Whatever you think of me, she's lovely. And she doesn't deserve to be held responsible. Gus, I'm not trying to punish anyone. 
Imagine how you'll feel if you just say no and that's it. Excuse me? Nothing, forget it. Think about it. What if they're not just my last chance? What if they're yours as well? Are you really happy to shut the door on that? That is a truly disgusting thing to say. There shouldn't even be a last chance. And if there is one, I only know about it because you came here to guilt me. I'm sorry. Do you know what you've done? I can't win now, can I? Whatever happens, I get to feel horrible and guilty. I either say no or I have to live with the knowledge that there is a child, my child, somewhere that I will never know. I'm sorry. I know you said that. It's her, it's Lucy. Maybe you could talk to her. I'm going.